فتين وزحلس مع بليغة على بمل دزق اللي فيت على الحفاش خاطر قبل كنت منزل أي بخالي أوه هاي I didn't even see you there let me get down real quick Hi, my name is Seven Musa. I'm an Eritrean justice activist fighting for my people to reclaim Eritrea, our freedom, and regain hope for prosperity that has been taken away from us by the totalitarian regime. What has been taking place across the world in the past few months has been unprecedented and monumental. After tireless efforts to bring global and humanitarian attention to the grievous situation in Eritrea, Eritrean justice seekers are coming together for the first time successfully as a united and collected front and taking to action. For the first time, Eritreans are saying no more to kneeling down to our oppressor. For the first time, the eyes of the entire world are on us. And we're not only calling the shots, but we're making the shots. For the first time, thanks to the brave and courageous men and women of Burgen Hamadou, we are putting our words into action. And the blue revolution is spreading like wildfire. Although the Blue Revolution is a call to action for all Eritreans, I've seen a great lack of representation and participation by the diaspora. So, I've taken it upon myself to be that motivator for you today. So let's go. What is the Blue Revolution, you may ask? It is a grassrooted free movement started by Burgin Hamadou, a youth-led, decentralized, Eritrean justice-seeking group. Burgin Hamadou is a united Eritrean front demanding justice and the removal of Isia Saforki and his radical supporters known as Higdef. 32 miserable years have passed since our so-called independence and no changes have been seen in Eritrea. After 32 years of so-called independence, the country our forefathers and mothers sacrificed their lives for still stands with no constitution, no basic human rights, no freedom, no running water, no continuous electricity, and the list goes on and on. All the Eritrean regime can show for after all these years is countless political prisoners, a country in economic and social ruins, and a mass exodus crisis. Hegdef has shown they are incapable of developing our nation. Burgen Hamadou is here to take what is ours by any means necessary. We have been silenced long enough. For those of you who may have a misinformed perception of Burger Hamadou, I am here to inform you that we are not a group seeking violence. We are Eritreans who advocate for diplomatic and law-abiding strategies as first-line efforts. However, after 32 years of trauma and suffering endured at the hands of Isia Saforki and the endless terror bestowed upon our families in Eritrea, and us in the diaspora by Higdef. Political unrest is inevitable. Diaspora, this fight does not only pertain to our fathers, mothers, aunts, uncles, cousins, extended relatives, it also pertains to us. We are unclaimed assets. We are untapped potential. We are brilliant and educated minds. So utilize your power for justice. As a youth brought up on the fundamentals of unalienable rights and democracy, we owe it to our Eritrean brothers and sisters who have been stolen of their God-given rights to demand the same for them. Let me put some things into perspective for you. We in the diaspora get to speak our minds, voice our concerns, practice our rights without any limitations. In Eritrea, however, if you speak out in any aspect questioning government, rights, religion, or press, you are imprisoned, even sometimes killed. Erta is not defined by a map. Yes, the 30-year struggle was to ensure our independence and sovereignty as a country. But without its people, Erta is no more than isolated land and dirt. We, the people, are Erta, and Erta is in us. Our martyrs died so their children and their children's children could live free and dream freely on the land of their ancestors. But Isiasa Furki, 
has single-handedly betrayed and erased any possibility of their dream to become a reality. Let this sink in for a minute. It seems as if there are more Eritreans living refuge in asylum countries than Eritreans living within Erta. The situation in Erta is so horrendous that people, young and old, are risking deadly routes to escape the country. Despite the regime's shoot-to-kill policy at the border, human, sometimes organ trafficking, being held for ransom, torture, and drowning at sea, our people rather die trying than live in the misery that has become him. To the youth pig deaf diaspora, Eritrea is not defined only by its culture, dancing, a flag, the Eritrean necklace you wear on your neck, or the so-claimed cultural festival, where fun fact, illegal funding is being collected as financial aid to the Eritrean regime. It goes so far beyond that. Our identity is in the bloodshed and in the lost dreams of our martyrs and veterans. It's in solidarity through brotherhood, feeling the pain and trauma of each and every one of our brothers and sisters. It's standing on your own intuition. Hig death you. Stop with the excuses. So often I hear, Erta is still a young country. We need time. The border to speak. We must remain self-reliant to wave off foreign powers. These points do not excuse the atrocious crimes against humanity. I am not asking for a lot. 32 years was more than enough time for Isiasaforki to implement a constitution, free political prisoners, and build an economy. This is not a topic of politics anymore. This is a fight for our peoples and countries' continued existence. The time for revolution is now. Our hungry do not have time. They need us now. The Eritrean people living in fear do not have time. They need us now. The mothers losing their children to unnecessary front lines do not have time. They need us now. Our prisoners do not have time. They need us now. Our fathers enslaved to the government and military service do not have time. They need us now. Our people need us now. So again, Diaspora, I call on you. I challenge you to stand in solidarity with the Blue Revolution. Reach out to your local state Lagedin Hamadou representatives and get involved. Be a voice and do your part as an air chief. Be a pillar for justice in your local community. Be a voice for the voices. If we unite as one and collectively work together, we will be.